Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my flooring trade tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut your flooring around your toilet base. And the products you're going to require are toilets, of course, lining paper or cardboard to create a template, tape measure, masking tape, scissors, pencil, trimming knife, jigsaw, and safety specs. Now, there's a couple of scenarios. If your flooring is already completed and you're having a new bathroom suite fitted, then you're gonna to wanna to place the new toilet into position, mark around the toilet on the existing floor, remove that, take the first three planks up, and simply cut that out with a jigsaw, leaving a small expansion gap. Then your floor can be installed and your plumber then can fit the toilet to the sub base below which is fine. However, your toilet might already be in situ and therefore you're laying your floor and you're working your way towards the toilet. When you get to the last three rows, that's where they've got to be cut. So you're gonna to have to create a template. Once you've created a template of the size and shape of the toilet, that can be transferred onto your new flooring and cut out and fitted around the toilet. Now my flooring has a joint here, then in this plank, then in this plank, so it's also gonna have another one there. So I'm going to take a plank, lay it across those joints and just transfer that mark onto my floor here. I'm using a lining paper to create my template. To start with, I fold back the paper to roll back on itself so I can square my first cut at 90 degrees. This will match my floor planks. Then I simply cut it using my hand scissors. Next, I offer up the lining paper against the joint edge of my last plank, using some gaffer tape to hold it into place so that it won't move when I start to cut around the base of the toilet. As you can see, I'm cutting down the paper to meet the floor. This allows it to fit comfortably around the pan. I'm also going to cut down the opposite end of the plank where it meets the skating board. This would be the equivalent of your expansion gap when you have your flooring plank in place. After this, I come back to the base of the toilet, using my pencil to scribe the curved shape that I require cutting. Now I can remove my lining paper and trim the shape using my scissors. Once cut, I place the template back into position, fixing it down with the gaffer tape. Then I'm using a plastic five millimeter spacer to remark the paper which creates the size I require for my expansion gap on the flooring. This size may differ depending on what type of flooring you're installing along with the size of the area, so always check with your supplier beforehand. The next stage is to transfer the shape of your template onto the first plank that needs cutting. Offer the edge of your lining paper against the click edge of the surface of the plank holding this into place with the gaffer tape that's already on the paper. Scribe the shape of the template onto the plank using a pencil. Clamp the board down onto the workbench and cut it out with a jigsaw. Click the plank into position, making sure that you're happy with the relevant expansion gap. If you are, then you're ready to mark and cut the second plank. Using your same template, fix this down into the original position over the plank that you've just laid. Then take a loose plank, place this across the existing planks in line with the joints so you can then mark where the joint is going to be. I'm placing this plank into position where it would be if the template wasn't there. Offer it up against the skating board, leaving the irrelevant expansion gap. This gives me a marking point on the template of each corner of the plank, as this is where the second plank is going to start. Remove your template again and place it on top of the new plank lining up the corners, ready to mark the position you're about to cut. Straight back to your workbench, clamp it down, cut your second plank, and then place and click into position. Now you're ready for the third cut, which molds around the back of the toilet. Again, place your template on top of it, using the previous marks from the second plank. Line them up with the top edge of the third plank, which will give you the position of your next cut. Once this is cut, place into position, then you'll need to repeat the process to complete the opposite side. So this is my final plank now cut and installed into position. 
All that's left to do now is seal the bottom of the toilet where it meets all your cuts with a suitable sealant. If you're not experienced using a cork gun and appliance sealant, then it's always wise to mask the area off first. I'm using a 50mm masking tape, applying this all the way around the cut edges of my planks. Then you can apply your flexible silicon at a comfortable pace to fill in the gap. The silicon will need smoothing off with a clean finger before it dries. I use a silicon wipe to wet my finger, which stops the silicon sticking to it and allows me to create a nice smooth sealed silicon line. And once you've done this, remove the masking tape immediately. Hopefully I've given you the confidence to be able to install your flooring around your sink or your toilet base. But if you're looking for more inspiration or how-to videos, check us out on all social media handles. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you need any information on flooring, just check out the website, flooringmountain.co.uk.